Hey, what's up everybody? Bart Gurley here with Maverick Realty Network. This video is gonna be over how to prepare a market update with presets inside our MLS system here in North Dallas. Our MLS is hosted by CoreLogic, which covers a lot of major metropolitan cities in the United States. So your platform may look very similar. So I create all these presets in areas where I'm actively doing business. These presets help me with a few clicks of the button create market updates for a monthly video that I put out, as well as be prepared for open houses, deliver valuable information to farming neighborhoods. And it's just really a great standard practice where you don't have to rely on another title company or other provider to tell you what's happening in your own marketplace. And it's free. It's included in the MLS price you already pay. So enjoy the video. If we can help you sell more houses or grow your brand, please reach out to us today. So enjoy the video. Okay, so today Bart is gonna show us how to pull market stats for Denton County. Yahoo, here we Yay. go. I'm gonna so let you rock and roll. Up here in the top menu. Okay. And that you have presets over here. So there's some of the ones that I have already pre-done that I saved. These should be what you see in your system because they just you can't really delete them. So they stay there all the time. Those are the default searches. Yes. Okay. So okay. what we're gonna do is come over here because we're you have these three tabs over here. You have search, chart, data. I see those are grayed, grayed out right now. Uh, that... Yes, because you got to create, we don't have any search criteria in here. Okay, so those will become live links once you have data in there. So I, I think we could just hit the county and... We'll hit Denton and it auto-populates, so you just hit it okay. there. Um, so you have some choices here on maybe the type of business you would like to reference or that's most applicable to your sphere or your target audience. So that would be these two right here. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, for this one would be residential and it would be single family. So you have some other options. You can hit add and remove right here and you can actually add more options down here. So if you hit add remove, okay. if you were trying to do something really specific, you'd hit search and this is all the available fields possible inside search function. Wow. So you could really drill down on a market search based on an, just a broad area, but then really dial it in with those available fields added to the search. Like uh, that. Once, you, once you pick it, you just hit add and then back. And gotcha. then that would be available down here at the bottom to put in a, a filter. Okay. So in county, residential, single family, detached. You've got other criteria here, but... Uh, let's just leave it like that for now. I think that's a good baseline, oh. don't you? Actually, there is one more thing. Okay. Uh, seller type. We want standard individual. Okay. Not builder or auction or bank owned. I mean, not. I think the builder standard individual is the really the big difference there. Yeah. Now that we kind of have that down, um, you could hit, go to the customize tab over here. Okay. So the, all this didn't change. Okay. All the same. So we're gonna we have time frame, statistic, and grouping. Okay. So we're gonna go. I typically go the last five years back just to have context. I like that. That's a good good practice. You know that, especially right now with the pandemic, that gives you right there the year before pandemic hit. So you get pre pandemic numbers, and then what effect pandemic might have had over the last three years, four years. So yeah, and I can see that maybe in the future we may still go back a little further just to catch that uh, trend line because the market fundamentally changed and I think your data is going to show that. Yeah. And I, I mean, remember I went back 10 years. I mean, there's some, some yeah. values that have not seen, like we've breached or surpassed things that we hadn't seen in over 10 years. So then in statistic, you just, you're just really going to pick the default where you always want to start. I typically start with the number of solds per month. So the first one that you like to go with is number of solds, okay? Yep. Let's see how many things are actually closing. And that's going to go back five years and up to today, present. And is that one already broken up by month? Not yet. That's the next category. Oh, okay. Got ahead of you. Okay. So And so every time I create a new one, like for each city, or if you had subdivisions that you were farming, you could create that and save it. 
which we're going to do one in particular before we get off there. So yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So if you always start with number of sales, it always, you know, you have a process. So you always start with sales instead of having one start with number of actives or okay. average close price. Just always start with number of sales and then I like it. you can recreate the process over and over again. Okay. Then the grouping is what you asked about just a moment ago, which is I do by month. Okay. Three, so month over you month. Group, you know, and you go group by month. Okay. Uh, so that's it right now that you could just okay. generate right now. Um, and I'll okay. come back and show you kind of some advanced options on this where you can add a second category in the same display. And you can say, you know, what are the number of sales and what's the average close price? And you can kind of include two different pieces of data in the same chart, which is kind very, of fun. Very helpful. Okay. So you hit generate. It defaults to the chart. If you hit data, that's okay, where you So you hit the data set. Okay. Yeah, so that's instead of the chart, we'll use data every time. Now that that's there, it's going through November. Um, you can update the date. Um, we'll do that in just a minute, but we're going to save this first. So, oh, that's next. nice. Okay, so then you you go and do save, and and will you name that like? Uh, 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 you just did getting. Uh, you don't need to date it though, do you? No, I'll just do like Denton County sales data. Okay. Um, whatever makes sense to your brain. So underneath that, you can save search criteria as a preset, which is what these are over here. So we'll hit that. And then the second box that um, kind of unlocks after you hit the first box, it's shaded until you hit this first one is show homepage stats widget. And that's a yes too. What does that do for you, Bart? Can you kind of explain that? Yeah, you don't even have to go into here and hit this stats tab. It'll be in the main menu once you hit a matrix and just go right into the city you want to look at. That's a real time saver. Like that. Okay, cool. So this is effectively done. So we're going to hit save. Okay. And now you'll see it right there in my presets, Denton County sales data. Okay. So let's, right. I'm going to go to a different one just to show you what this looks like. So let's go to, okay. So once you go, let's go to Plano. And down here you, hit, you see generate. Okay. So you'll hit generate. And this was a little tricky. So you, when you hit generate, it doesn't go right into the chart like it did the first time. Mm -hmm. Usually I hit one of these two. And the two options are use the search criteria saved with the preset, which is what you want to do every time. Mm -hmm. The other option is use the current search criteria, which means you basically, you edit, you went to search and you edited the saved preset. So just use the preset. So just use the search criteria saved with the preset. So the first one that you'd like to do that I have written down here is you, you want to create your first data set is number of cells. Yes. What What's the next one you like? And then you can go to customize. Uh, and then under the statistic in the middle where it, it goes to sales number of, you hit that drop down menu. And then I would look at the inventory, active listings, common okay. number. So, so once you highlight that, okay, yeah, then you'll like go to that. generate again. Okay, you'll get the use criteria saved with the preset, and now it changed, and the title is active listings number of, and now we've got the total number of listings available in Denton County, right there that are active. Yeah, so then you can go to close price. <clears throat> I, I don't want to have an opinion on this, but you know, you do have average versus median close price. So, so which one do you like average? I do average and then hit generate, save criteria. Right. And there's your price, average close price. This is obvious how you could create a market update for your sphere and farm neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. that is based in pure, solid, unarguable data to help people make informed decisions. There's no doubt you come across as a market expert when you can be able to to, to go back. And I love the fact that you go back five years because it, it gives the context. Because if I'm just looking at a month's worth of data or maybe even this year's data, I, compared to what? I, I, I'll be honest. The first however many years of my being in this business, I'm ashamed to say, but I do think it's probably the norm is I mm -hmm. probably only looked at market data from the transactions I did. Like, you know, I'd look, I'd say, oh, well, this one went over, this one went uh, under, you know, prices are low because of the 20 transactions I did. But let me show you this one last thing. Okay. 
So, uh, and this works on all these different presets is if you really want to dig down or maybe you're like, I think this is what's happening, but I'd really like to see it side by side. You can hit advanced options and it'll allow you, it opened up right here to a secondary uh, statistic. Mm -hmm. You can do close price oh. with uh, what's the, what, what other like, you know, number inventory going up or. I would love to see market. next to the price. I would love to see the inventory. All right, so active number of listings, and then hit generate, use save search criteria. Okay, and we'll generate that, and then you'll go back. There we go. So we got closed price average, active listings number of, all the way back to January of 18. Wow. So, so we can, we can go some, all the way up to some more nuggets out of that. Uh, so I guess look at just 2023 and what happened. Inventory went up in the summer like it normally does, seasonality. And prices went up with it. I chased it. What, what, what happened in the summer with interest rates? They, oh, that would be a pretty cool little overlay. Not that MLS can do that. But if we had an interest rate overlay and like yeah. plugged another field in there and went, it would completely obliterate the argument. I mean, yeah. and I would be the first one to go, Bart, you're, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> price and interest rates means less sales and the prices are going down. I get I get why people are skeptical. I, I would be too until I saw your report. Yeah. Because I know you're not, you know, you're crazy, but you're not crazy enough to go make this stuff. Yeah, up. I mean, you and me can <laughs> argue over the interpretation of the data, but the data doesn't lie. So you're back to the stats tab. Okay. It defaults to search. So we'll get rid of that. What's the subdivision? So we're going to go to Robeson Ranch. I'm just going to put in Robeson and Asterix. So that's what I learned from you this past Monday. It's, that's probably what it takes. And what is the, it's Denton County? It's Denton County. So and maybe. Yeah. Just in case there's another Robeson out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Residential. Residential. Single family. family. Uh, individual. Standard. Okay. So you're customizing. Uh, you're going to go back past five years. You go to statistic and you're selecting starting off with number of sales. Okay. Yep. And then month. and then by month. Now this, generate. Okay. There's our beautiful chart. Ooh, we got some big peaks and valleys there. There's the data. So then you would do the same thing. You would go to well, let's go look at the number of active listings. Well, we're gonna save it. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, double R sales, sales. sales. Whatever naming structure, just try and keep it, <laughs> make it yeah. sense. Well, it'll make sense for me because now I'm going to be able to go in and save all my, my searches and just have them handy. Okay, so those, that's how you do them. And then, um, so let me, uh, I'm going to close this for a second. Yeah, so. and you can you can stop it now if you want. And oh, no, I'm showing the last thing, dude. Oh, you got you got one more bonus material here for me. So look, there's all your presets right there, right when you log into Net Matrix. So you don't. So even when I when I log cool. in in the future, I will create those and then save them right there. Boom. Done. Whatever. You can go right to them. This is that preset widget. It's at the kind of. So that there. preset widget puts it under my stats, right under right under Matrix. Yeah. So. Right when you come in, you don't even have to go in and do any searches. It's already there for you. Yeah, you just hit it. You know, so, I mean, come in here. Data. And, oh, this is a interesting. So, if you set it, like, if you made this, like, it's good right now, like those two we did through November. Mm -hmm. uh, if you hit customize, because it ended in August, so mm -hmm. I need to expand this. So, you can just change the month right there and go all the way. Oh, that, that would be the one thing you need to change. And then just hit save. And then and then save again, and it'll nothing will change except it'll just go through the new date now. Now, now when you generate your report, it's going to pull up the data since August. Yeah, and no, the last. all the way through. So okay. customize is where you change all the stuff. Okay. Yeah. All so right. if you pull one up and it's old, then that's where you do it. Yeah, just update it through the new date and save. Nice. There. Hopefully that helps. I'm going to sign out on the recording. Mm -hmm.